Let me give you a scenario. I teach at two different institutions and both of them use Microsoft 365. So I have that means I have two Outlook calendars. Now, in most situations, that's not a big deal because, for example, if I wanted to, I could just use one calendar. But that doesn't work that way because what happens is, for example, at this institution A, if they want to schedule a meeting with me and they use a meeting software or something like that to try and book a time or they check the calendar to see what's happening, they wouldn't see what was over in institution B. And so I can't actually tell if I'm busy or not. I have to keep going back and forth between two calendars. Now I can overlay them in Outlook and be able to see them, but people outside of myself don't see that overlay. And there's no way within that because the way that it's set up between the two work Microsoft 365 accounts, I can't merge them, but there is a way. So I was investigating this because I wanted to have a way for people to be able to book a time with me using a booking software. And I wanted them to be able to automatically book a time and see when available, all that type of thing. In order to have that happen, I have to merge those two Outlook calendars. Now, I did a little bit of investigation and I found Calendar Bridge. So it's calendarbridge.com. And yes, first off, I'm going to say you pay for this service, but there's a lot that comes with it. And let me tell you, it's well worth it. I've used it a lot, pretty much daily. Uh, so what do I have? So I take with Calendar Bridge, I it put in my two accounts. I put my institution A, my institution B, and I have it set up so that they duplicate each other. So in other words, if I put something in, in, in the calendar B, it also shows up in calendar A and vice versa. So what I've done with that is I go to Calendar Bridge, I put the two calendars in, I have them merge, but here's the bonus part. So let me just show you. I'm just gonna go to the dashboard here. Um, and I've paid for the basic account. To show you the different accounts actually first, um, there are some different ones. I have a basic one and I've paid yearly, so it's $4 per user per month, 48 bucks. Um, so in this case, I'm just gonna go to dashboard and I'll just show you right now um, how I have them. So I have calendar A and calendar B and I have them going both directions. So with the basic account, you can do that with two calendars and that's it um, in two directions. Now, you can also just have it so it just sends from one calendar to the other and not vice versa. But in my situation, I needed it on both. So that, that way, institution B, if they someone wants to book a time with me, they can see if I'm busy or not. Same thing with A. Okay, so the bonus part to all of this is that they have a booking software built in the calendar bridge as well. And that comes into the scheduling part. And so I've set up different now, originally when Calendar Bridge, when I first joined up, you could only set up a link for either a 15 minute, a 30 minute or a 60 minute time slot. But now they have one where you can actually do, um, the people can choose which one they want from one link. Great new feature. And so let me just show you what that looks like first and I'll work backwards. So I'm just gonna open up the link. So this is a test one. And what people, I give this link to people and what they can do is when people arrive here, they can choose their day. So let's just say they want to do August 31st and they will be able to immediately see the times and when I'm available. How this works is if I add something to my calendar in, doesn't matter which calendar, that time slot's now taken and it will disappear out of here. And if someone books a time here, it automatically puts it in my calendar, which of course then takes it out of being available. And so, very slick, works, integrates perfectly with it. So people come here, they choose the length of time that they want, they choose the time that they want, they put in their information and they hit continue. And what happens then is they get a meeting invite. And what I've done is in the description for mine, I've put in my Zoom link. Uh, I have a personal meeting room with the waiting room. And what happens is they get a meeting invite and in that meeting invite, there's the description, they have the Zoom link put in. Now what's really nice about this is if people have put in a description of what they want to book me for, so for example, in here, they book a time and they see here, uh, they can put in other people's emails if they have multiple people that wanna do it. They can put in a subject and a description and then that shows up in my Outlook calendar as well. It shows up, this is the reason why we're meeting so that I can prepare ahead of time. Uh, and then it gives me, um, a mine set up that it tells me 15 minutes before my meeting that it's time to go. Now, you can also set up 
how much lead time you need. So in other words, they can book, in this case for me, um, as early as an hour before, but they can't do it like immediately before. And the reason for that is I just, I didn't want to have uh, problems with me not being at home, for example, because I'm working from home. Um, I want to be able to be able to do it. So very handy function. And considering it's doing two things in one, and it's cheaper than most of the other booking software I've seen, I highly recommend it. It's been super easy and worked really, really well. And people keep asking me how I do this. They book times with me and they're like, how did you set up this calendar thing? Uh, super, super simple, well worth the money. Um, again, we'll work with Microsoft calendars and Google calendars. So you could even mix and match. You could have a Google calendar with a Microsoft calendar and it can merge the two. Fantastic for that. And then you can do the, the bookings through there as well too. So. There you go. That's how you use Calendar Bridge. Fantastic software. Highly recommend it. And if you have any questions, let me know. Put it in the comment box. Thanks.